Hello everyone, I'm your host, Barista Mrs. Esther in the Ogben on this podcast. Today I'll be talking about three things that everyone needs to attach to oneself that will help you build a vibrant, a glorious, and a peaceful marital relationship. And of course, you can also use these principles in any of all the relationship that you get involved in, and then your personal relationship, your business relationship, or your professional relationship. And what do I call it? I call it the three G principles. Now let's go number one, a good name. A good name is far more better than riches, is far more better than wealth, is far more, is far more better than gold. Why do I say that? A name is synonymous to yourself. A name is who that people identify you with. What do you want to be identified with at every point in time? When people hear about your name, when somebody calls your name, what does your name signify? When your spouse always remember you, your name, what does he or she remember you with, remember you for? This matters a great deal. A good name is what, what more than every other thing. So build it. Be intentional in building a good name. A good name is something that is synonymous to accountability. It's synonymous to um, transparency. It's synonymous to selflessness. It's synonymous to um, hard work. Is synonymous to joy and peace. By all means, make sure you remember this thing. It will help you build, like I said, a good marital relationship. Then the next G is good works. What are your works? In that place that you are planted, either your personal relationship or your business relationship, what is that good works that people want to always remember you for? It counts a great deal. What is that good works that you're always doing at home that brings joy, that brings pleasantness, that brings that brings feelings, and that spark up your romance in the home? What is that good works that, oh, your spouse will always want to remember you for? Ah, I miss him or her. I miss him. I miss her because of this thing that she's always doing. Oh, she's not here now. Oh, are you the one that your works are very repulsive? Nobody wants to remember you for anything good. That is not a good one. Try as much as possible to leave good behind with everyone at every moment, especially your spouse. Let good moments reign in the home. Let good moments reign in your conversation. Let good room, uh, moments reign in your texting, in your messaging, in your writing, in your words, in your communication at every point in time. Then lastly, you talk about the good character. Yes, character counts. Character is your attitude. Character speaks volume about who you are. It talks about your personality. It talks about your profile. It talks about your perception. It talks about your understanding. Your understanding of people. It matters a great deal. No man is an island. So try as much as possible to always come down to the level of your spouse. To understand his or her character and know how you can blend with it. If you do not, then two cannot hold waters. But before you can do that, you must always try as much as possible to build your own character first. Don't always want to remove the speck in your spouse's eyes if you have not removed the lock in your own. You know, most times in marital relationship, we are always quick to put blame in our spouses. Why we don't look inward? Always see how you can always checkmate your own character to see whether you are already in place, to see whether you are the one that is even igniting his or her own end to flare up. So good character. Character counts. Checkmate your character at all times. And make no mistake about it. In talking about good character, try as much as possible to be the type that wants to encourage people, that wants to help people, Place yourself in a position whereby you really want to bring people up, not 
destroying them down, not ridiculing them, and all those stuff. In life, sacrifice goes for anything. Before you can succeed in anything in life, you must have acquired or go through sacrifice. And if you have attained some position and you do not go sacrifice, then don't despise others. Others that have not really had that opportunity. Nothing good comes easy. So try as much as possible to come down to the level of your spouse or people you relate with. Don't always have an air of attitude at all points in time. Don't always look down on people because you have attained there. No. Character counts. Good character counts. Is a virtue and is a good working principle. We need to imbibe into our character to build good relationship, either your marital relationship, either your business relationship, or your personal relationship. Yes, these are the three G principles that we need to attach to our character, to ourselves, to our personality at every point in time. It helps us a great deal. So I'd like to sign up here. I want to say thank you to all those that have been liking um, this podcast, that have also been sharing it, and of course, the subscribing. So keep doing that. Continue to subscribe, share, like, and comment. Until I come your way next time, always remember, be good to yourself and be good to others. See ya.